I would say that Elle's Carpet um, pretty much is the newest and fastest growing media outlet that the South has. We have, um, we pretty much bring glamour and fashion coverage to the Southeast region that LA has always had. You know, LA events has always been televised. They've always been known for, you know, to have the stars and they fabulous gowns and clothes and things of that nature. But I feel like Atlanta has that as well, especially now that so many films are filmed here. We have a lot of, um, we have Tyler Perry. We have a lot of filmmakers here. We have a lot of, a lot of the, um, the film the film networks are pretty much building studios here. So um, the whole industry. They call us the black, black Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I feel that they're bringing it here. And actually, a lot of actors and actresses are moving here as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. Um, the premieres are really big here now. Mm -hmm. So I feel that someone here to, to make that coverage, to put that on a network, mm -hmm. Um, it, it has to be me because I it's not know that's here. Right. <laughs> so that's what my vision is, is pretty much to bring that to the southeast region. Um, Miami have a lot, a lot of nice big events. You have places that, that New York mm -hmm. has a lot of nice fashion events that's never televised. And I feel like we need that. Yes. All right. Yeah. It's New York City, Miami, Atlanta. Actors, yeah. everything. So we're going to make that Black Hollywood thing really happen. Yeah. I know right. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, right. yes. that's cool. Now, let me tell you something. Now, Elle, what else do you do besides red carpet? You also have a beauty salon. Yes, I'm also a celebrity hairstylist. Yeah, I, yes. um, I have a few. Well, I still do Monica, the single Monica. Yeah. I've done Sierra. I've done Mia X. I've done a few people in the industry. And when I started acting, my, my background is in film. Yeah. So when I started acting, I had to calm down on a lot of that. And the way Elle's Carpet came about was that um, being an actress, I wanted to be real rounded. Right. So a couple of years ago, I went to New York and took a hosting workshop. Yeah. And I did teleprompter, ear prompter, and I fell in love with it. Yeah. So after that, I was like, oh my God, how can I do my acting thing and host? So in branding, I feel like I can do all of it, but I love hosting so much. I pretty much just kind of just engulfed myself in this Elle's Carpet project. God gave me the vision one day, and I called my team up. We went in the lab, found out what was already out there, put our twist on it, added some class to it, added some individuality to it, and we have Elle's Carpet, which is going to pretty much just be the fastest growing red carpet company, mm -hmm. um, televised mm -hmm. red carpet show, so mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to be... It's, it's going to be big. It's so, amazing that, that you're is. branding yourself and you're not really reaching out to E or yeah. Entertainment Tonight or, mm -hmm. you know, so I mean, they all started on their own as yes. well. So, yes. you know, Elle, I, honey, I speak nice. those big things for you. Yeah, you're going to blow yeah, up. Yeah, we received that. Thank you. And we've been getting a lot of good feedback. And I think it's because my company pretty much we shoot from the heart. We're charity. We're a charity-based based company, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the events we've been called to do have been charity events. Mm -hmm. And even though we are a company and we are we're hired out with our step and repeat and with you know with me and my staff, mm -hmm. the charity when the charity companies contact us, we do it for free just mm -hmm. because that's our base. Mm -hmm. So that's so fulfilling to us, and we still do it. We still bring our whole team, our whole mm -hmm. professionalism. So they really really kind of be taken away with that. So what charity are you uh, going to be uh, involved with this time? Can you talk about that a little for bit? For our lunch, we're going to use CRN. And the reason why we chose CRN is because we work with them on two of their events. Mm -hmm. And this last event, I actually met this young man that had been with them since he was like about five years old and he just graduated, graduated college. Mm -hmm. So this organization raised homeless children. They pretty much raised him from a child and put him through college as well. Mm -hmm. So that that took me away because I've known so many charities that kind of pop in and out, mm -hmm. you know, be on and then be off. And this charity pretty much is so consistent and it's so effective That's good. that I pretty much, I couldn't say no to them. That's so nice. CRN mm -hmm. is, is taking part in our launch party and we're pretty much donating 100% of the proceeds. We're having a silent auction for them. So I'm very excited about not only showcasing Elle's carpet, but doing something for our community. That's good. Now, Children's Restoration Network. Charities. Children. Yes, restoration. 
Well, it's, charity is just a passion of mine, period. I grew up pretty much feeding the homeless a lot. And when I first moved to Atlanta, Divine Profession Love Outreach was that Divine Profession was a salon that I worked for. And we formed a love outreach program, which we fed the homeless weekly. And we did that for about five or six years. And they're actually still up and running. So that was something I saw a lot then when I dealt with them. But seeing someone go in and actually raise these kids, not only go and feed them once a week, but they actually be a homes for these kids. And they also raise the, like, they teach the mothers skills about interviewing and doing their um, their resumes and things of that nature so they go in deep they go in deep and they really take part in making sure that these people become productive people in society wow. that's, that's awesome that so El, what other things can we expect to see at this event you can see, well we, we're having a fashion show of course we're a fashion show because we, we do red carpet events, so we're we're very much into fashion. So we're going to have the fashion show. We're going to have a beautiful red carpet with a lot of media and press there as well. We're going to have a live band all night. We're going to have it fully catered. You will see, you you know, the silent auction, you will take part in that. And that's going to be very special because we have uh, sponsors like Stuart Wiseman, Jadal. We have a uh, Skin Education. We have a lot of companies that's taking part in donating to the charity, mm -hmm. Ultimate Bodies, so you'll be able to see all those things as well. And um, we're just going to have a good time. Now where is it going to be held? It's going to be held at Lafayette Doe, which is up 75 North off yeah. of Howell Mill in Chattahoochee. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful, beautiful space. And we're going to, it's a vintage masquerade ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have so much fun because I think that people really don't get a chance to really dress up. It's a formal event, mm -hmm. dress up, and it's vintage, and it's going to be so much fashion, mm -hmm. and you got to be masked to enter, okay. so we're going to have a few a few, a few, few uh, guests that's going to be pretty much masked that you're going to have to guess, mystery guests. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have to guess who they are, so that's going to yeah, be fun, awesome. and I know. <laughs> we're going to have live pet peeves. If you guys follow me on Facebook, we do pet peeves, and pet peeves are really what bothers you. So it may get on your nerve that somebody stop at a stoplight in front of you and go driving slow. So that may be somebody's per pet peeve. So that's an example of what I do online. But we're going to actually have live pet peeves mm -hmm. going on at the party. So if you attend the party, then you'll have a chance to speak your pet peeve. Okay. And okay. you'll be featured on my site. So we're going to have a lot of fun things that night. Will there be any celebrities? Well, we don't want to. We didn't sell the email I mean, on celebrities. I'm, I'm, it's I'm be specifically talking about Deacon Rivers. That's oh, what I'm well, you know what? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm working on it. I okay. love Deacon Rivers, and I love his plaid oh, blazer. Girl, and I know no. if I invite him, he's probably going to be so fabulous that night. So I may, I may ask Deacon Rivers to take part. That will be so to make but, a guest um, appearance. We're yes. not, as far as the celebrities, we're not, we're not selling. Yeah, we're not selling our event on celebrities, but we do have we do have some probably coming through. But we, we really want to focus on the charity. I just was only interested in Deacon, <laughs> Deacon Rivers. Deacon Rivers, that's, right. that's all. I, you know, well, I think Deacon Rivers, he seemed to be a charitable man, so I, I think he could probably bless us with his presence. El, you also uh, mentioned if some will follow you on Facebook, how will they get in contact with you, or what's what's the website for your Facebook Well, our page? website is www.elscott.com. Lscarpet.com. Our Facebook is um, under L Star, E L L E S T A R R. And we also have a blog. I love is, it. <laughs> which is hot or hot mess.com. So you can go on there. You may be on there. And you see whether we rate you hot or hot mess. <laughs> Do not put this on there. <laughs> Can they purchase tickets offline as well? They can actually pur online. purchase tickets online at www.elfscarpet.com. And we also have um, have it on Facebook as well. Okay. So it's a link off um, straight off Facebook to, to, to the PayPal where you can purchase tickets. So and so with you um, sponsoring the CRN Children's Network, yes. um, how much of the proceeds are you actually donating to the network? 100%. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes, we really want to. We really love CRN, and we want to make sure that we take care of them because they take care of our community. That's amazing. That you know, you normally hear people only donate maybe 60, 80 percent, 90 percent because they say that we have to take care of overhead. Oh, right. So Els Carpet is taking care of the, the overhead. Yeah, we're taking care of and, and we have wow. a great night in store for you guys. It's not. 
is not your regular just okay throwing something together because I'll show pretty much the elegance that we bring when we when we host events. If you all have been to an event that's been hosted by Els Carpet, we bring a certain elegance and we pride ourselves on that. So the event is going to be very elegant, going to be very stylish, and pretty much top of the line. So oh, we wow. pride on that. So, so again, El, tell us, let us know how we can contact you and purchase tickets. Spell the website out. The website www.elles C A R P E T dot com. The blog is hot or hot mess H O T T or H O T T M E S S dot com. Yeah. And my Facebook is under L Star. Check us out, y'all. Y'all will love, love, love the launch event. You'll love to be in character, love to be in mass, and love to see all the great surprises we have for you. Yes. Come out and support Woo. L's Carpet. That's, That's right. October 7th, right? Yeah. Do it for the community, y'all. October Absolutely. 7th, which is a Thursday. Which is a Thursday night. It's from 8 to 12. From 8 to 12 p.m. Come out. Network. You know, all, all of the networking network. and the, and the mm -hmm. connections. Exactly. And you never know who you'll see there. Exactly. A lot of people... Come like dressed and you're vintage. Come meet Rivers. <laughs> come, if, if you don't come out for any other reason, come out and meet Deacon Rivers. He yes. is hilarious. He is. He is. <laughs> Thank you. Big, 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 big up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come out for your community. That's, That's right. right. Awesome.